When setting up your Mark III, you want to start with two mini basins so that you don't have any fuel spills and it keeps your fuel away from the muffler and the pump. Setting them up uh, side by side gives you a nice area to work around um, and good separation for the fuel tank and the pump. Next you want to prime the pump end. So you can do this a few different ways. You can start by dunking your suction hose completely in the water to fill it and then tightening it on and then agitating your, your suction hose or you can use a hand primer which is a easier option. With the hand primer, you'll know that the pump head is primed when water comes out of the spout on the primer. Once your pump head is primed, you want to attach your discharge hose. If you're pumping on any kind of slope, it's important to use a back check valve so that no water is flowing back into your pump. Next, you want to connect your fuel line. Start by connecting your fuel line to your jerry. And then you want to make sure that you purge any air from the fuel line. To do this, take your spark plug wrench and push it in so that it pushes in the ball bearing and then start priming the pump until you get some fuel coming out the end. That way you know that your fuel line is completely primed. Once you've done that, connect to the pump and start priming with the primer bulb again but keep a close eye on the transparent fuel line on the pump so that you avoid flooding the pump. When pull starting the Mark III, you want to have your choke in the on position and the throttle in the start position. Once you have it there, best practice is put a foot on the frame so you keep it in place. One hand on the pull cord and one hand on the spark plug cover. Before pulling, pull the pump until you rotate it once. This makes sure that the cylinder is in top dead center position and will make it easier to pull start when you do. So then once you've got it in top dead center, put the pull cord all the way back in and then give it a pull. 